Chinese language lessons kicked off this week at Havana's Fructuoso Rodriguez Junior High School. 157th graders were divided into several classes. Jia Shi Hu is the first Chinese language teacher to have joined the China-sponsored bilateral project. Teaching Mandarin here is a good experience, and it's important for the children to learn this language so they can later help boost cultural exchange and friendship between China and Cuba. The teacher says the students are very enthusiastic about learning Mandarin. This is great. The teacher is super. So I expect to learn Chinese, which is a language spoken in so many countries. We are learning many words in Chinese, step by step. This will be very useful for us, for Cuba and China. And my parents are happy that I'm learning Chinese. School staff members welcome the project with pride. As the school principal, I'm happy to lead the first school in Cuba hosting this experience, which is teaching Chinese. The project is part of an education accord signed by China and Cuba in 2020. China guarantees the teachers and all teaching materials for the course. This Chinese language teaching project, which started in this school behind me, if successful, could be progressively expanded to other similar education centers. We think this complementary activity favors the students' integral and cultural development, and it could become part of the teaching system as a non-curricular language option aside from Spanish or English. During a recent visit to Havana's Chinatown, Beijing's ambassador to Cuba, Mahui, stressed the significance of the bilateral accord that allowed the teaching of Chinese in Cuban schools. With the introduction of the Chinese language into the secondary schools, it will open up new opportunities for the two peoples to understand each other, to learn from each other, and to consolidate our friendship so that China and Cuba can work together, we can develop together. With more than 60 years of productive bilateral relations, China and Cuba hope to keep building bridges between the two countries. Luis Chirino, CGTN, Havana.